is my story. The day the money got into my bank account, I, re I remember the day very well, the 18th of August. Yo, my fair too. In Mali, my clock I in, right? It was 2.5 million. So I was with Debza and Debza was in the house. I was in my bedroom, you know, I was depressed. And guys, when 2.5 million clocks into your bank account, yo, things change, dog. Things change. So I remember Debza was doing the dishes. I was like, hey, Debza. Come see this boy, you won't believe what huh, you won't believe what just happened, my boy. It devs are, you know. I'm like, what's up, Liz? What's going on? He's like poison. Dog, just look at my phone, bro. I'm like, wait, poison, I can't see you properly, you know? Dog, 2.5 million. Have you guys seen 2.5 million? Bro, 2.5 dog. That's not 2,500 rands, you know? 2.5 million lands, I'm like, lives are. This is crazy, boy. What are we gonna do? Dog, we couldn't even count the amount of zeros. First thing we had to do was set a lawyer fee. So that was a young 90,000 rand, you know? At that time, 90,000 was nothing to us, you know? So we like, okay, let's sort out the lawyers. And then the lady who, ish, that lady who, who referred us to the lawyers and the RAF thing, she just wanted 50,000. So some nigga, 50,000 and you know, from there, dog, a, a lot of things just changed, bro. The first thing we went to do, we went to Capitec, guys. Eh, you know when you have 2.5 million in your bank account and there's a long Capitec line, guys? Bro, we skipped that line, bro. So I'm pushing Lebza on our way to Capitec and mind you, there's a long line, right? Capitec lines, you know, they're always full, you know what I mean? It's like a funeral line, you know? when people are trying to get food, but mind that, don't mind that. So we literally skipped the whole line full of like 50 people, bro, because obviously he's disabled, he's on a wheelchair, push him in, and the lady asks him, how much do you want to withdraw? Lebs was like 100K, I'm like, poison. <laughs> are you hearing yourself? Are you sure Lebs is like, poison, we up now, you know, the lady chain sheets. Ah, bah, bah. I skipped that line. I even went into the bank itself. And from that bank, I got, guys, I got preferential treatment from the get-go, you know? Guys, money is just something else, bro. If money is something else. So I literally withdrew 100,000. I'm like, there's a today. It's going down. So I remember, man, this pocket, I was like 10,000. This pocket, 10,000. My back pocket, 10,000. My back pocket, 10,000. That was literally 40,000. And then here in my wheelchair, I have a little thing where I can put things and then I just put another 10,000 in there you know it was just crazy and then the rest I was like Debza today our, our life has changed let's go spend Diamond Walk Joe you know Stanton Gucci Versace bro you know like we were Gucci gang Lebza hops into Gucci bro there's this other belt you know this Gucci belt it was actually a Louis Vuitton belt actually you know it was a Louis Vuitton belt Dior cap hey man Lizzo was just up he was even wearing Carl Lager bro you know he was just a different nigga I had the whole mall's attention you know who's this guy man in a wheelchair pushing a trolley with like all these designer things so I think there we, we dropped around 20 30k bro I mean that day it was just too crazy here's my story There was this one girl that Lebza really liked, but she didn't really like him, right? She, she ended up dating some other guy who was driving a GTI, right? So Lebza's like, nah, bro, I need to buy a GTI that's better than, that guy was driving a 2017 GTI. Uh, Lebza's like, I'm buying a 2019 GTI. We're like, no, man, let's hit the dealership, man. We go to VW. Mm. Guys, I tell you, you know, when you have money, you can just make decisions like this. So we got into the dealership. I was like, I want that. There's our cops, the 2019 GTI, 350K. I think that's how much he spent on it, you know? <laughs> dog, dog. Lezza got that hand, dog. This, you see this next week, bro. Lezza got that hand. And then we decided to go to Pretoria and guys, Pretoria, that's where things just happen. I remember we, 
be in Hatfield a lot because, you know, there's too, so many clubs. There's Abu Matias, C, Zanzu, you know, like Dog, you know, Ekaya, different clubs, you know. So I remember we met these girls at the mall. And then Lebza went to the club with them, bro. Like, I was like, Lebza, dog, we don't know these girls. Why you invite these, like, boys and relax? You know, I got this. Mind you, we just met these girls, like, today, Baba. And we we're about to go to Hatfield, Zanzu. Ah, guys, we get to the club. And then, dog, bra, Lebza, Opaidi, Hene, Si, Artu, Hene, Si, Tu, Veve, Artu, Habli, Babli, Gere, Ejo. Like, we used to drink in Black Label, dog. You know what I mean? And we don't even drink that much, you know? But when we drink, we drink, like, Black Label, Castle Light. Those drinks, bro. Like, bro, Henny, Hennessy, dog. Larry Jägermeister for the babies. Oh, Jägermeister. Hey, guys, it was a movie. That day, took out 20 at the club, you know? It was my first time spending that much. And back then, it was nothing to me. I remember Lezo would take two girls at the same time on his wheelchair, bro. Like, believe you me, dog. Like, one would push him and one would be sitting on his lap at the same time. That was like the craziest thing ever. I've never seen a guy in a wheelchair get so many girls. Yo, oh, bro, these girls just used to throw themselves at me, bro. Left, right and center. Bro, and that's where you see, like, money has power, bro. I remember one trip, Lebs was like, gents, like, I'm tired of this clubbing thing. Let's, let's go to Artis. He only had that VW at that time. He's like, yo, boys, let's buy a young H1. I'm like, H1 is calm. So Lebs ended up dropping about 520K on that H1. You know what I mean? Um, and it was just making his life easier, you know, because, I mean, with the wheelchair, you know, like, you can't really do that in the golf. You know what I mean? Narte Beers, bro. That place, I think, we had booked for a week. I think Lebza spent a total of 80k on that house, bro, just for booking. Here's my story. Here's my story. Things took a turn when I met this one lady. She was way older than me. I met her at a restaurant, Tang. I regret it, guys, because that lady, it used to be vacation, vacation. I remember we went to Durban, right? And Durban, on that vacation alone, I spent 150,000. You know, we went for about two weeks, you know? And you know when you have money and you can't tell, you know, somebody who has money, you know, what to do, you know? I'd tell him, Nebza, boys, and this girl's not good for you, you know? Cause he'd spend so much money on her, you know? She asked me if we could go out for for some shopping and she wanted to fix at home. Guys, I spent about 15,000 that day, you know, just taking her out for shopping. You know, she then asked me for another 85,000 because she said she wanted to put a good kitchen unit for her mother. We'd always tell Lebza, bro, invest your money, you know, when it's all said and done, you know, like, you need to have a legacy, you know what I mean? Something that's gonna pay you back, something... And then Lebza goes through Instagram, bumps into this Forex trader guy, I won't say his name, you know. There was a Forex trader that I met online and he said I must invest 150000 and I did that. Till this day, I don't know where the money is. That guy really did scam Lebza, you know, and guys told him he'll make a million in, in a week, you know, and yeah, that nigga just disappeared on Lebza, you know, that's when the money was really running out. I remember I was renting this apartment in Santon. 14,000 a month, 14 block. I was two months off uh, my rent. The landlord was just putting pressure on me because he knew that I had money, but like he didn't know that my money was running out too. He was, he was adding pressure on me, but I just decided, let me just go back home for the weekend because it's just too much stress. I hadn't been home in a while. There was just like, yo, Bless the family with the pizza. Just takeaways, you know, because you back. I remember there was a time where it was time for us to buy food, right? I was like, boy, like, I don't have anything, bro. We went back to Kota's, you know? I mean, we hadn't eaten Kota's in like seven months now, you know? Seven months we hadn't touched Kota's. Now he's like, boys, let's, let's buy Kota's and eat Kota's. That's when I realized that I don't have money. When we started settling for quarters, that weekend we ate quarters, and I hadn't had a quarter in a while. And we sold the car. There was some guy I was owing. I just paid that guy because I didn't want to put a risk on my family. And I think really, things really did change when when you sold the GTI. You know, 
he sold the GTI, he sold the H1, and he was in debt, funny enough, you know? Yeah, I'm broke now, but on the bright side, I am running my spaza shop here in Kasi, um, Lebza's spaza shop. He recently just opened a spaza shop, you know, people do laugh at him, but you know, I mean, his puzzle shop is the best puzzle shop in, in the hood right now. You know, we sell course lows, just gassy snacks, just everything you need, you know. I'm like, e cooler, but Labo Khang's puzzle shops. I really think what Lebza could have done with that money, he could have bought a house, you know. Like, we weren't thinking of any of that, you know, we're just thinking of the club life, you know, Ubering girls. I think we could have really bought the house, you know? But like, honestly speaking, I just thank God every day that I do have a life and I can make an income. Yeah, thank you to I Blew It for, 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 for like capturing my story because I want every young person to know that, you know, the limit trick, you know, just finish my trick, never give up in life. Yeah, bro, um, you know, I believe Lebza will We'll, we'll be all right. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that skit. Um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's get to 10k subs. Tell us if you guys like these skits, bro. Cause like <laughs> you, we we invested a lot. We invested in lighting, just like a lot, just to make just Lisa Twins channel go to like road to fifty thousand. Yeah, road to fifty k, man. Yeah, man. Let's get it. <laughs>